that. If you hadn't already guessed that Mole Man would make a scenario for the Medway Valley line, then you do now know. Uh, then we're off to the Weirdale line for Heavy Brick Freight Steam, which is a double head at the front and one at the back of Black Fives, so it should be interesting. Um, and then um, back on the B&O Kingwood branch, stepping forward a few years to the Chessie period, uh, running another sim, uh, another uh, scenario on the, uh, the the Kingwood branch for the GB30. Um, afterwards, <clears throat> so that'd be the normal roundup of um, uh, to uh, of um, of trains, of the normal roundup of normal train stuff. Um, <laughs> After that is um, your choice, really. Um, so it's sort of a Monday after the normal trains. There's more trains, but it's it's kind of more a bit more creative side. So I thought Majestic Falls was asked was asked about last week. So maybe we could have we could write a scenario on Majestic Falls, or I found an API that lets me talk to the Stream Deck. Um, this thing, um, and uh, it means that we could do an integration for it with Train Sim. So I thought that'd be fun. PZB would look quite nice on that. Um, and then the other option is um, the passenger mode scenario that uh, we've been developing over the last couple of times. Uh, we can do some more of that. So I'll put a poll up when we do the final scenario. For those of you that are still about, um, for those of you that want to have a, a choice there. So those are the three things roughly that I'm thinking about. And of course, if other good ideas come up during the stream, we could look at those as well. So, shall we get going? <clears throat> Dave Gravy, I use OBS Studio. Thank you for the host decks final. Right, I'm just reloading my uh, Streamlabs web. Yeah, I use OBS Studio for doing all my streaming. It's very, very good. It's completely free. Streamlabs OBS is up and coming and looking good, but there's a few things it doesn't quite do that I need it to. When it does those, I'll probably switch to Streamlabs OBS. Because the bits it does, there some of the bits it does do better. I really like. So we're bad, old, and slow. Open the doors. Let's see for pizza B on. What can go wrong? Instrument lights on. Cap light off. Where are we going anyway? Bad orders low to Lubeck and back to bad orders low. <clears throat> I have no idea 4072. Let's just pretend they did, even if they did. <coughs> hey there, 5029, how are you doing? Oh, look at that. Diesel hype. Time at bone. Time to go. In restricted monitoring, we have a green light. Release from monitoring. Good for 120. Thank you for the follow. Seven point five to Reinfeld Holst. I wonder if you find all the planets at that station. Yes, it's the TSW train in, T in tears. <laughs> We'll be in the wrong colour for TSW.
It's a two train train, no it isn't. It's a one train train. I don't know anything about the uh, the new route, um, Big Betty Blue. I'm normally s so busy that... Uh... Oh, it does show too, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Am I going to start trying to get up and wander around again? I know the E key is just... my E key is broken, it's not doing anything. <laughs> oh, the blinds appear to be down. That's very inhospitable of me. Hey, BRCW. Three point four kilometers. When is the next route being announced in TSW? I can't even announce when the next announcement's going to be. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Sorry, Transport Guide. Again, that's something I have to wait for an official announcement on. Expect stop at the next light. But it isn't. Oh, it is. Maybe I'll shut up then. I have no idea what you're referring to, Kulo. None, none at all. It's gone up to green, yellow. So 85 limit, aren't we? <clears throat> Green, yellow. With an expect stop at Reinfeld Holst. Oh, I acknowledged it. Did you not hear the acknowledgement? Maybe I acknowledged it moments before the signal or something daft. I definitely pushed the acknowledge button, but I obviously pressed it a moment too early. We're good to 40. Cubby sales. Um, I, I would love a real guy on a real train, but uh, I suspect the railway companies have got better things to do than to indulge in my my whims <clears throat> I did drive a little sentinel shunter once in the driver for a five of things didn't really fulfill me it has to be said but <clears throat> you know German tracks are bi-directional in a lot of cases flying Scotsman I was going to say I hope there's a signal there crikey Yeah, I thought about the driver experience days. They're blooming expensive, though. Maybe one day I'll treat myself.
<clears throat> Do I know when the next Steam sale is on Steam for Train Sim? I can't talk about those either, I'm afraid. There's lots of stuff I can't talk about, basically. <clears throat> Normally, if there's a Steam sale coming up, um, then um, you'll find out about it. Someone will have talked about it on a forum somewhere, on Reddit or something like that. Lubek Hobanov, the Wensleydale DMU days. So maybe I'll have a look into that then, be honest with you. Still got a 40 limit, however, that's a green light. So released. Push up to 120. Oh yeah, no, I appreciate why it's that cost, Glen Echo. I guess expensive was the wrong word to use. Costly, shall we say. Very much worth it, but... The Transport Guide! 12 months, one glorious year! Thank you very much for your support, Transport Guide. Very much appreciated. No, there are other priorities that my family has for spending money. Me driving a train is apparently not high on that list. I beg to differ. Getting a working toilet can come any time. <laughs> hey, Mr. A320 Master, I had a good day, thank you. An entrenching tool when he was a kid, yeah. <laughs> what is my Xbox Club called JDS Games? I have no idea. Have I got an Xbox Club? I, don't, I haven't fired up my Xbox in ages. My kids use it all the time. I really need to get it powered up and have a look at it and remind myself how to use an Xbox at some point. I'll get a gazunder. Why is it called a gazunder? Because it goes under the bed. Hey, you know what, South Coast, uh, Southern Railway Man, I've got no objection to supporting the railways either. Preserve Railways do an amazing job. It's a complete package, really. Without everything else they do, you couldn't have the driver's experience day at all. Speaking of number one son and number one daughter, Peter, uh, Peter um, I've managed to rope them, at least Victoria so far, Cameron is uh, likely, um, I've managed to rope them into helping out with the YouTube channel. Yes. So uh, Victoria is currently busy um, copying, uh, highlighting videos on YouTube and moving them all out onto, uh, sorry, highlighting videos on Twitch and then uploading them to YouTube. So we'll stop losing them finally. Um, and she's already done about, I don't know, 20 or 30 videos. So she's she's making good progress. She's got hundreds to do. Um, what have we got? Seven and a half kilometers. Um, and then once we get that under control, the next um, step up is the um, is to get YouTube sorted. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully between them two, 
they will um, they'll get the YouTube channel under control and we'll have a steady stream of videos appearing on YouTube soon. Won't that be amazing? And they'll get a few extra quid pocket money as well. Everybody wins. Child labour, absolutely, Randall later. Absolutely. What else is he there for? I mentioned you become their agent. <laughs> oh, I pity you, Moggy, I pity you. Hey, it's Trash Shadow! Well, oh, that's 90 limit. Staring at the 90 limit is not dawning on me that I should have done it. I even, I even mentally made a note. Oh, hang on. There's a 90 coming up when I saw the yellow sign come past and it just made no difference. You're demanding 10% on frozen treats. Um, so you're saying that they should get 10% of what they were getting and they should be given frozen treats. I could do that. Hey Toffee Cookie, how are you doing? Give him 10% of 10%. Well, could do, could do. Have you tried watching it on a different browser if you're having problems watching it? Or download the Twitch app. Um, and um, and try the, um, the Twitch app. As in they can get a Twitch app for the PC. And I was talking to Gouger, I think it was, and he was saying he was having lots of refresh and other issues and buffering. He downloaded the um, the app and runs that, and he reckons that everything's much, much, much smoother. What distance signal? What, what did I miss? Well, I'm curious, what did I miss? That, that PZB magnet? Seriously, what on earth is that PZB magnet doing there? Random. Chris Francis, thank you for the follow. Magnet to upset British drivers, absolutely. Hey, hot chilies, how you doing? Try to see another light, I can't speed up. Well, no, I, when we went past the yellow sign for the... Uh, it was a flashing green light, was it? Oh, I didn't see that. Strat Shadow, Constance Villingen is an amazing route. Definitely my favourite German route. Yellow light. Double O gauge top of track is toffee. Nice. 
50 limit yellow signal. Coming into Lübeck. <clears throat> Couldn't pass up a load of track and extra gubbins for a fiver. No, absolutely. Oh, you wanted N. <laughs> Just pretend it's N gauge, but you're looking really closely at it. Get the 500 hertz in a moment. Stop there by the looks of it. There's the 500 hertz. All right, shut the cab down. Hey Tyron, how are you doing? Did I see your two fishing announcements? I did not, Moggy, no. Were they good? They better have been good. After all this build up. Right, we've got flashing green. We're limited to 40 anyway. Well, no, you model to a bigger scale, don't you, Glenn? <laughs> 60 limit from here on. You finally caught Megalodon, a new, ma a new map. Oh yes, yes, I was aware of the new map, yeah. The Bergsy, does look good. Up to the team's usual awesome abilities. Are the fish in fishing simulator drawn to scale? Yes, as far as I'm aware, it's a simulator. Oh, you mean the um, the wooden train set game? Yeah, I streamed that once. I need to stream it again because I think it's been updated since I last streamed it. At least once. Why is it not coming out of restriction?
Hey, camera's going in. Oh, we're out of restriction, finally. Wald Sea was the previous lake. Uh, Flying Scotsman. Uh, Berksey is the new one. Forgot about that. <laughs> it didn't tell me. So at least it's not Korea Snow, it means it doesn't matter. <laughs> you need more creative ways of saying hello. You know how many languages there are on the in, in the entire planet that you could use to say hello? Anna on the moon, all you're doing don't be careful, you don't say that. All you're doing there is saying we have we are going to get a bigger garden. All you're saying is, you know, by, by saying that, you're not st stating a problem, you're specifying the solution. Hey, Stu Few, or at least, you know, if that was what my wife would say, I would say, oh, good idea. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> then I'd be single. Right. Hey, Workside, we're sure. Jack Peter Loftus, probably more like Bonsoir at this time of day. I can drive a pacer if one of my bids succeeds. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Hey, I do my best by Oxide, I do my best. That really is about my best. <sighs> right, going from 90 to 120, we've got 10 kilometers. Let's give it some boot. Oh, Rooster, 16 months. Wow, thank you very much for the support, Rooster. Very much appreciated. No, 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 no. Don't break the speed limit. I never break the speed limit. How long would it take to play a scenario if you had to restart every time you broke the speed limit, even point 0.1? Be honest. Just type in the number. I don't know what you could be saying there, 4072, honestly. Seven days. Seven times before you were just rage. <laughs> Robot Murloc perfectionism makes you so you do a restart every time you mess up even once. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people who are like that. BRCW, you tend to drive two to five kilometers an hour under the limit. That's the right way of doing it, to be honest. If the timetable can't be completed like that, it's the timetable that's wrong. Unfortunately, too many scenarios, you have to nail the speed limit to even have a hope of keeping up the timetable. Uh, Tyron, you want to update your graphics card? Uh, what have you got? Personally, I go for Nvidia, but it depends what you want to spend and where you want, you know, what you're going from, really. Cheese on toast with Branson pickle. Ah, oh, Strat Shadow, seriously. 
That sounds good. Got a bit of a ham in there though. Actually, got a better idea for you. Two slices of toast, yeah. Cheese, bit of ham, bit of Worcester sauce. When I'm, dri when I'm driving Scenario Top Chilies, sometimes it's, um, um, yes. sometimes I like to get the score and sometimes I just want to relax and enjoy the scenario. It really depends on my mood and to be honest, all I do is just, if I don't want to pay attention to the score or the timings, I just ignore them. <laughs> if I do, I pay attention to them. <laughs> BRCW, NVIDIA 1060 is a good card, yeah? Yeah, NVIDIA 1060 is a good card. It's actually the most popular card on st that's used on Steam, I think. When is Chair Sim being released? I don't know, I haven't really made any start on it at all. Right. Reinfeld Host is coming up. Uh, a GTX 1080 is a killer card, Tyron. Um, quite an expensive card. Cameron's Gaming. Someone banned Cameron's Gaming. It's being abusive. We need chair sim, yeah, really. I think I've got Unreal Dev Kit installed on here, so I could do some chair sim. Possibly. They make my rules. That's just crazy talk, that's what that is. Five hundred hertz. Six hundred doesn't. Do I ever get bored halfway through a mission? Depends how long it is. If it's a, like a two, three hour scenario, then sometimes I can be, you know, willing it to end. As Fab Diva says, actually, I would definitely wait for getting graphics card if you possibly can. With all this Bitcoin rubbish, it is not a good time to buy a graphics card. Robert Warlock, the 1080 is a killer card. It kills his voltage, use use two. It yeah, it kills your voltage use, kills your bad frames, and it kills your bank account. Yeah, really. <laughs> you did it, darkness, did you? <laughs> what does Bitcoin have to do with graphics cards? Because gra um, graphics cards essentially are compute processors in their own right, lots and lots of really powerful, quite powerful ones. And um, what Bitcoin miners do is they use graphics card processors to um, to rapidly generate the random numbers they need for Bitcoin prior mining. Uh, and so you'll find people buying absolutely tons and tons of graphics cards um, so that they can get lots and lots of um, processing horsepower. Um, and um, yeah, it's, because they're buying these cards, it's driving the price of these cards right up. No, I'm not waiting for anything, am I? <clears throat> I just about put the Dell key down, but I did it at the wrong time. I just remembered at the last minute. You have to Bethel 40 through the 2000 hertz, yeah, fool. Right, 25. Forty-five. 
The Bitcoin thing makes a lot less sense than you'd think, Anna, on the moon. I looked into it the other day just because I was curious and it just made my head go, but why would people do this? At least not now, not now anyway. You I mean you have to make such an incredible investment in hardware to have a possibility of getting a return on it. They're going to disable the ability to Bitcoin mine on their GPUs. Yeah, I'm not sure why they would, to be honest, because they're still selling a lot of graphics cards. But I guess the thing is that if they're not careful, then this whole Bitcoin thing will kill the PC gaming market off. And the PC gaming market, in theory, will be around a lot longer than Bitcoin will. So it was some weird online payment thing. Well, the thing is, it's <laughs> essentially Bitcoin is a completely online transaction that's completely decentralized. There's no bank. Um, and what happens is that a Bitcoin miner downloads a data packet of transactions and validates those transactions to make sure that they are good. And then they come up with the checksum. And then what they have to do is then they have to ran come up with all these different random numbers to create a hash. And then the person with the lowest hash that is underneath, uh, sorry, the highest hash underneath a given random number that no one knows is the one that gets paid for doing the work. So, yeah. <laughs> Somewhat oversimplified explanation, but... <clears throat> One of the fundamental differences between um, UK signalling and a lot of the non-UK signalling is UK signalling is route-based, whereas um, American and German and so forth are um, speed-based. They get a lot more speed information out of um, um, about out of European and American signalling, whereas in the UK um, you don't really get speed information. It's all about um, a block is clear and um, and where the train is going with the feathers and so forth. I'm sure Glenn Egg out can do a much better, more elegant explanation. Essentially, Bitcoin started out as a uh, it's a it's a, it's a sort of almost a classical pyramid scheme because the the more people that are involved in it, the harder it is for anyone to make any money out of it. <laughs> I think Bitcoin solves a number of problems uh, or as, as, as perceived by the people that came up with Bitcoin. Unregulated currency, country under control of a government is definitely one of them. Oh, there are many of them. There's um, Ethereum as well. Blockchain, it's called. Sorry, Cameron's Gaming, I didn't realise that someone actually would. <laughs> I keep forgetting that if you say something, Darkness Monster does it. <laughs> Matonium. Yeah, there you go. Trash 80 was a decent machine, wasn't it, Alan Parks, for the time? I never really used, because uh, I think they are pretty much American, weren't they? Although we had an Atari 800, which I think is a similar vintage. 
which was shipped over to the UK. Tandy Radio Shack. Oh yeah. I'll take my lanyard off. There you go. Is that better? Right, let's try and get the sequence events in all the right order this time. So, double yellow, acknowledged. Slow down to 85. I'm going to get schooled on the bloody, on the, uh, on this red light again, aren't I? Are you sure it wouldn't be Lollicoin? BLCW. Cat coin, yeah. 500 hertz. Yeah, it's going to mess me about. What is my height? It's how tall I am. Right. Commodore 64. Well, you know what? No one's perfect, and no one's going to hold it against you. We're a uh, positive, accepting, tolerant stream. <laughs> Sorry, member of the Sinclair Spectrum Club, so... Hey, if it only loaded the game in 10 minutes, that was pretty good, Crucible. Right, I remember the Bethel 40 this time. Good. I bought Bethel 40. How tall am I in feet? Um, five foot eight. You want to burn all the grog, Smoggy? It's tiny amounts of Bitcoin, Fab Diva, but what you got to remember is that one, one Bitcoin's worth about 30,000 quid, isn't it? Crucible, was that the Archimedes? Dex, have Astral Plane got vinyl releases? They've got CD. I don't know about vinyl. Strat Shadow is here, though. As long as he's, if he's back from making his sandwich. Are you about Strat Shadow? It's only 6,000 at the moment, is it, I believe? Oh, wow. <laughs> Sinclair ZX81. Oh. Shall we open the doors just for old time's sake? I'm going to give this machine a reboot. I keep forgetting to, I need to reboot this machine. I just shut down some files I happen to have open. Right, let's just give this thing a reboot.
Oh, dear. Yeah, one of the Amstrad works at the uh, might have been eighty fifty six. Well, the Amstrad eighty wasn't the eighty two fifty six actually the CPC, their uh, their version of the sort of the Spectrum slash Commodore thing. Oh, hello, steering wheel beating the hell out of my computer. Hey there, DJ SB. <laughs> You're just in time for a bit more Medway Valley. <laughs> we will try a different UK route at some point in the future, I promise. No, I wasn't going to show the route from Dover to Vic um, Tube Man because it doesn't have any scenery on the bit um, from Dover to Faversham yet. So when he's developed it a bit more, I think, and then a bit more to look at. What did your computer do to your deal wheel to make it beat it up? My computer started um, putting out comments about tomato ketchup on sauce and so my steering wheel abused it. My steering wheel has fairly fierce thoughts about uh, what sauce goes with bacon. First computer was a Spectrum Plus moggy. So we started with the Atari 800 and then we went... Um, with a Spectrum 48K. <clears throat> was it? it was sort of rubber keyboard era, but we had a different keyboard. We had a DKtronics keyboard. No, I said my computer was saying catch, might catch up on source, and therefore my steering wheel wanted to beat it up. As you do. I to start trains in there and start another track I are. Clever me. Didn't have ham, so melted the cheddar cheese with some spring onions. Nice one, Strat Shadow. Um, can you drop a note over to Dex Vinyl, um, Strat Shadow? He's trying to get in touch. Yeah, only cost you 40 quid, because they were 99 when they came out, weren't they, Moggy? Right. Uh... Spider 1428, I'll call that one up in a minute. Thank you very much. Once we get back into playing, I'll repeat that one so it comes up. The game is just booting up. Sounds will be with you now. <laughs> 